Mm-hmm. Crowley had hoped to get his disciples into influential positions in America to influence the masses. One such disciple was former Harvard professor turned drug guru, Timothy Leary. Timothy Leary, the defunct Harvard professor, led the drug revolution in the 1960s as he handed out mescaline and LSD like it was candy to the youth. This in turn opened up the hippie youth of the West to the pagan demonic gods of the East who were also promoted by Aleister Crowley. We can see here that Timothy Leary is under a painting which bears the number of the Antichrist, 666, who is prophesied to rule the world until he's destroyed by Christ at Armageddon. On a PBS interview, Timothy Leary let his hair down and admitted that he was carrying on Satanist Aleister Crowley's work. Well, I've been an admirer of Aleister Crowley. I think that uh, I'm carrying on much of the work that uh, he started uh, over 100 years ago, and I think the 60s themselves. You know, Crowley said uh, uh, he was in favor of, uh, of uh, finding your own self and, and uh, uh, do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law under love. It was a very powerful statement. I'm sorry he isn't around now to appreciate the glories that he started. Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. In the 1960s this became do your own thing. As we have seen, this also incorporated the idea of the drug revolution. But Crowley did not stop there. He also called for a sexual revolution. Crowley was to implement the satanic new age of Antichrist, he knew like Hitler he would have to go after the impressionable youth to succeed. Crowley declared, let me seduce the boys of England, and the oldsters may totter, unconverted to their graves. Then these boys, become men, may bring about the new heaven and the new earth, but without an army I am useless. Give me my army, young men, and we will sweep these dogs into the sea. Over. As the easily led Crowley and youth culture was deceived into believing that they had received spiritual enlightenment when in fact they had swung the door open to Satan and his plan to destroy the world. Satan had effectively slipped in his destructive teachings to undermine traditional moral values through the cloak of a supposed anti-materialistic peace movement. Crowley taught that his satanic doctrine should be cloaked under the lie of love and he believed the youth would fall for it. Crowley taught that in order for the new eon of Antichrist to be established, he had to initiate the world into homosexuality. Crowley began by implementing many of his homosexual sex magic rituals into a secret order called the OTO. You're about to see startling evidence that Crowley had as much influence on the world with his sex revolution as he did with the drug revolution. Aleister Crowley knew that if he was to establish a new age of Antichrist, he would have to destroy God's design for family, consisting of men and women as husband and wife. Crowley therefore declared in his book Magic Without Tears that family was public enemy number one. Since the satanic revolution of the 1960s, there has been an incredible attack on the family as homosexual recruiting has increased dramatically. Crowley made it no secret that he was interested in popularizing homosexual deviancy and even child molestation. Crowley's emphasis on homosexuality found their way into mainstream politics initially through homosexual organizer Harry Hay. This is highly significant because Harry Hay, who led the charge of the sodomy revolution in the 60s, was like Leary, a disciple of Aleister Crowley's teachings. Project 10, which was based on the skewed statistic of sex researcher Alfred Kinsey, who claimed that 10% of the USA was gay, is still a program that is taught in public schools today as homosexuals seek to recruit among the young and impressionable. Project 10 seeks to get impressionable elementary students to explore possibly latent homosexual tendencies by lying to them and claiming that the basis of Kinsey's statistics that 10% of them are homosexuals and need to accept it. Incredibly, along with Harry Hay, the world's most renowned sex researcher, Alfred Kinsey, was also influenced by the works of Satanist Aleister Crowley. Playboy magazine probably did more than any other publication in the 1960s to popularize the sexual revolution. In fact, Hugh Hefner credited Kinsey and his flawed research in his first issue of Playboy. Incredibly, Robert Anton Wilson, who edited the Playboy forum throughout much of the hippie movement, has admitted to practicing Crowley's magic and reading all of his available works. In the 1960s, homosexual youth was rallied to take to the streets. Not coincidentally, the founder of the modern homosexual movement, Crowley and Satanist Harry Hay, was dubbed the oldest hippie of the 1960s. Harry Hay, who was also a music teacher, knew how to influence and subvert the youth through music. 
Hayes said that this language, speaking of music, had the power to communicate ideas, plans, and issues through the form of songs, and dances under the noses of the authorities as a weapon. Music always had the power to inspire revolt and revolution. Hay declared to two-thirds of the world today, music is a language, a method of communicating, organizing, educating, mobilizing. His most effective tools for transformation, though, were not Timothy Leary, Harry Hay, Kinsey, or Robert Anton Wilson. Best-selling author Albert Goldman declared that popular music of the 1960s was, quote, the most important cultural event in the history of America. The 1960s were the perfect time for Satan to introduce his revolution. He had already established his groundwork through men like Harry Hay and Kinsey and Timothy Leary. Both Kennedy and Martin Luther King were shot dead, and the environment was ripe for revolution as the baby. Crowley taught that he was to be the leader of a youth army and end up finding himself on the front cover of the Beatles' Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band album. The song states that it was 20 years ago today that Sgt. Pepper taught the band to play. The album came out in 1967. Crowley had died 20 years earlier in 1947, the year Leary claimed he passed on the baton to him to bring in the satanic revolution. This made Sgt. Pepper a likely reference to Lester Crowley, the father of the new eon. John Lennon summed up the entire Beatle philosophy before his death by quoting Satanist Lester Crowley. Lennon stated, The whole Beatle idea was to do what you want, right? Do what thou wilt. Mm-hmm.